Hi, everyone. My name is Jenna, and I am the Publishing and Marketing Manager at Hasmark Inter Publishing International. This is Jen. She is our bestseller director, and we are here with Michelle Lee. She has written the children's book, It's Okay to Be Pink. Hi, everyone. Can you tell us a little bit about your book and its title? Sure. Um, so I wrote the children's book, It's Okay to Be Pink, um, actually back in 1989. Mm -hmm for um, a little thing I had to do for a, a, a creative writing class in grade 13. That's when it originated. And I wrote it and read it to the class and that was it. I did nothing with it until now. And what inspired you or drove you to now publish this book and who is it for? So it was written um, based on my personal experience with bullying as a child. And I came across it while cleaning up um, a room to make it turn into an office so I could do regular uh, work on myself. And I found the original text. I had an emotional reaction and I thought, you need to do this now. People need to find out about this book, that there is help for kids who've been bullied. Definitely. So you stumbled across it and it's kind of it's time. Yes, absolutely. It was a visceral reaction. It was a, uh, you need to do this. I can't not do it now that I've found you kind of thing. Amazing. Who is Bob and what was your inspiration for him? So Bob was based on what happened with me as a kid. And it was easier to use a children's character that I created out of my bizarre imagination than it was to draw attention to what really happened to me. So I was teased for a number of factors and I thought that using a little bizarre looking character uh, would relate more to kids and um, I chose to use color as his difference as opposed to actually point out any other specific thing. So it relates to a lot of things that kids go through and adults too. As adults have read the book, they've said to me, you know, Michelle, where was this book when I was growing up? Because like, I went through heck, I went through this, I went through that. And it would have been nice to have known that there was something there that went through it too. And someone that they can kind of turn to. So uh, almost like a figure that they now have to represent yeah. I absolutely love that. Thanks. And what kind of plans do you have for Bob and his friends in the future? Oh, Bob the Glob and his little buddies <laughs> are going to be a series of books. Actually, if the general public has any ideas to what they would like to see Bob do next, I'd appreciate that too. Um, but basically, I want Bob to grow. I want Bob to experience a number of different things that have happened to young children and older kids, adults as well, um, so that he can help younger children grow their emotional intelligence and understand what certain situations are, are like for them. So both Bob and his friends are going to go through some stuff, <laughs> but it's all going to work out in the end. <laughs> if you had one takeaway from your book for your readers, what would it be? That no matter what differences we have in life, we are all more alike than we are different. And that we need to embrace what, what that difference is. So, okay, so maybe you might have like one arm missing, but you can write with your feet. I can't do anything with my feet, for gosh sakes. You know, like embrace what it is that is different about you. That's what makes you unique. And there's nothing wrong with being unique. Not fitting in is kind of okay sometimes too. I agree. And I think now more than ever, the biggest thing is to be spreading kindness and to be teaching that to children. And so not only will Bob be a resource for them, but he will be somebody that teaches them how to behave and how to act towards others. So exactly. I think that now more than ever. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And, you know, reaching out to that one specific thing, if it happens to be Bob, that you're gravitating towards, or one of the other characters going through stuff, that's what you should be doing is gravitating towards that 
knowing that there is something there that is there to help you. I want him to be inspirational for kids because I want him to be that safe place for him, for them to fall, you know, relatable. Exactly. exactly. Mm. Yeah. Well, Michelle, I'm sure that everybody will want to find out more about you and your book and about Bob. So where would they be able to go to find that? So um, my book is being released September 28th, <laughs> this, this month on Amazon. Um, it's okay to be pink is the name of it. I'm also I have a website, um, bobtheglob.ca, bobtheglob.com, where people can sign up um, under the blog section. <laughs> And um, there you will be get given um, like a newsletter telling you different things that I'm doing throughout the month and what have you, updates on bullying. There are resources there for bullying for both parents and kids um, and a way to contact me as well if you um, want to do so. Thank you so much, Michelle, for, for everything. And we will see your book on Amazon uh, on September 28th. Thank you. Thanks, ladies. Have a great day, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.